Hello everybody. So I spent the weekend making content. So I created some content for the starships just so you'd have something to salvage. And I've got these wicker lockers and these sleeping pods and this chair with all sorts of fuzzy graphics attached to it. But really I've been focusing on the base itself because I want to start building up the weather concepts. I want to I want to put weather into the game because that's a big part of the game. And in order to do, to do that, I need to make sure that your base can exist. Because obviously your base is what's going to be interacting with the weather most. So we're going to go ahead and just build our base here. Doo, doo, doo. Now the biggest part of this game uh, that's not mod related is my take on uh, work. Because I don't want you to worry about, you know, pixels of, or, you know, tiles offset or anything like that. There's no time compression here in terms of having to direct your characters around and micromanage their lives. Because of that, you can uh, just assign however much building you'd like, and they'll get it done during their workday as much as they can. You don't have to worry about how far it is for them to walk or anything like that, because the amounts of distance we're talking are not significant, and they wouldn't be significant in the real world, so, you know, it's okay uh, if, if your base is not... If your base is, is sprawling or is not right next to your cars or whatever, it's all fine. So this is all stuff you've seen, the centered windows and walls and stuff. Uh, all of this stuff is centered, and the reason for that, burned glass that is, burned dirt, and the reason for that is just because uh, this is the base that you would build if you didn't have any resources at all other than electricity. You know, if your car didn't contain anything other than electricity, you didn't have any cargo pods on it or anything like that, you'd build a base like this. And you can see that we've got our centered doors, but if you make a door out of uh, burned dirt, it's not going to open or close very well, so it's not exactly the most, uh, the best kind of doorway. I also put into the game a centered prep room. Oh, I need to put in some assemblers. Dunk, dunk, dunk. So the prep room is where you would put on your galoshes or your winter coat or your space suit or whatever, and uh, it really helps to negate the uh, the effect of having to go out into the weather and do work. So it would be uh, reducing the penalty that the weather outside gives you. I also built some beds. We've got four people, so let's put in four beds right here next to this window. But you know, uh, I think that this sunward entrance might be annoying, so we're going to go ahead and wall it off as well. And now when we come in through this sunward entrance here, you can see that there is a wall uh, and the beds are behind the wall just so that you don't have a lot of noise. We could have also put the, the wall on this side, it doesn't really matter. And we have the nice sunlight coming in through the window. I also created a bathroom. We'll go ahead and put the bathroom over here. And let's point it this way. And the centered bathroom is just as bland as you might expect but it does function to some extent, so hey, it's better than not having a bathroom, right? And we'll put in another divider here so that the bathroom is um, not directly in front of the main entrance as well. And we also have some center boxes for storage purposes. Let's just go ahead and put those here. And we've got ourselves a little base. Of course, this little base uh, doesn't have any actual protection from the elements because it has no roof. So let's just go ahead and give ourselves a nice roof. And what we will do now is change our people back over to construction, because the roof takes construction rather than assembly. It's invisible! Oh my god! Well, you just hit R. Um, the roof is by default uh, toggleable. So as long as you control the area, then you can turn the roof on and off in terms of visibility. Oh, and of course, you can always put in some solar panels, because, you know, that's good. So now we've got our little base, and uh, from the point of view of a character, it would look something like this. Oh, it's just pitch black in here. Well, we'll have to deal with that later. There's a light in the bathroom. A light in the prep room. 
And if we hit R, oh my gosh, the roof went away. So that's what I've gotten done. I'm going to work on the weather next. Don't worry. Uh, if you make your roof invisible, it will still protect you from the rain. And um, that's that. If you wanted to contribute, I am uh, interested in taking anything that isn't made out of sintered sand. I think I'm kind of sick of sintered sand. Cool idea. Very bland to look at.